Hi, I'm Rufus Ruark from Shores and Rock Seafood here in Urbana, Virginia, where we shuck and process oysters fresh daily for Harris Teeter. We have roughly about a thousand acres of oyster ground, different areas of the Rappahannock River. We process oysters that we've got off our own ground. We plant and harvest spat on shell. We do single cultured oysters. We start with a small two millimeter oyster. When it gets in the water, it takes about 18 to 24 months to get to size for us to harvest for Harris Teeter and shuck it. With spat on shell, we have three tanks here. They hold 5,000 gallons of water. What we do is we put shells in cages in the tanks and then we fill them up with salt water. We get larvae from a hatchery and we take and we dump the larvae on top of the tanks and that settles down through the shells and they attach to the shell and then you have your spat on shell. Spat on shell usually takes place from May to September. We try to set about 800 bushels a week. Spat on shell, we get a return of two to one per bushel. It usually takes about two years for it to grow to size to harvest it so we can pack it for a Harris Teeter. We actually lease the grounds from the state. We'll lease a certain acreage on the river. We have poles and we have our markings of S&R for Shores and Rock Seafood on the corners so nobody else can go in and harvest. A uh, rule of thumb is for every acre you put 5,000 bushels down of shell. Then you come on every acre you put a thousand bushels of spat on shell. Which spat on shell usually you'll get a two to one return. So if you put a thousand bushels down on an acre you'll get 2,000 bushels back. We're here at the shell pile where we take shells out of our tunnel after they're shucked and they run up into a pile. We, we hold them here uh, until we get enough to put overboard on our ground. What we do is we take them out on a barge, we pump them overboard and put shells on the bottom so there we can put spat on shell on top of them to have a sustainable resource for Harris Teeter Foods. Here in the shucking room, we process oysters uh, daily, fresh from the Rappahannock River and from the James. Uh, they shuck anywhere from 150 to 200 gallons a day. There's roughly 300 oysters in a bushel. The average shucker will shuck anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 oysters a day. If an oyster is a hard oyster, they will tap it. There are just jars of enough that they can get their blade in and shuck the oyster out. Here in this room is where we wash or clean oysters for Harris Teeter. In these tanks we have, we put water in and then we dump the oysters in the tanks and we run air through them which agitates the oyster and cleans up, gets the mud and a little bit of shell off of them and then out of those tanks we pack them into gallons, we pack them into pints, quarts, which we in turn take in another room to where we pack the eight ounces or the pints or whatever sizes we need for Harris Teeter. The process we use for getting oysters off our ground after they're two years old is called dredging. That's when we have a motorized boat, we pull a dredge across the bottom, which is underwater, and the dredge has teeth in it. The teeth actually pick the oyster up and roll them into a bag which attaches to the dredge, which is underwater too. As the bag fills up, when it's full, we pull the dredge to the top of the water and put it on our boat and we dump the bag of oysters. There we grade out the oysters are large enough to be sold daily. I want to thank you for touring Shores and Rock Seafood and for buying our oysters at Harris Teeter. If you need any more information, please contact us at shoresandruark.com.